lot of the work that the studio has done has had this kind of inbuilt idea that looks at fragmentation. If you really see, most of the projects will have one larger space and a lot of other smaller spaces that kind of float around it. So while from the outside it's very untelling because it's very blank and you know the facades are very quiet and stoic in some sense and so it almost gives you an expression of like what this is just a box and then when you enter the box it just unravels itself in so many so many different ways so the performance almost begins. You have to constantly find in some sense, the space, and it surprises you every time because it does the unexpected. And so in that sense, it's playful and whimsical, and it's like this naughty kid who pinches and runs away. So material investigation and material for this studio has been a primary core focus. The flooring was this major act. Since we were using everything that was in some form being cast, it made sense to even cast the floor. You know, when you start looking at the entire plan in entirety, it has to look like a painting. The courtyard would keep changing its light, almost like an intonation and a voice when a you know, person is having conversations. And so the moods are constantly varying, so much so that you could at some point be able to tell that if this is the shadow, it must be this time. And if this is the way the light is falling, it must be this time. So it has a continuous kind of row of wooden balconies that actually became the bridge that tied the upper floor from the central courtyard. But the part from which you travel, the path, that's where the fun is. And for many that's lost. And I think in our projects, that's amplified. the light streams in and constantly creates different shadows. Skylights and windows and the light runs through it, you know, it creates almost a, a dance of sorts and it's constantly creating shadows all through the day. Process is ultimate to any design. I don't think it's about the end result. The end result will be what it has to be. No matter what you do, I think it's about process. I, I really think whether it's what you're cooking a meal at home, you're designing or you're stitching a dress, it's about process. What you do is about process. And that's what you have to withhold. That's what you sort of take up and revel in and celebrate.